YouTube. Good morning, good morning. It's your boy Doc. This is my Dr. Bill. I welcome you all to the channel. Today we're working on my Acura RSX. Today I'm putting a couple things on the car that I order. One is the lip. Cash it to your word. Bought it lasted probably out of, out of a week on the first no. If you see the video of, of work and stuff that I made it. Somehow on the way back, I cracked it right in the middle, broke it. Pretty much a $80 loss. So that day I literally worked for free, but you know, that's life, it's car life, that's how it is. So, simple, I have a new one. I also ordered the moonroof spoiler. I got window visors, brand new, and I got the rear spoiler. For the car i'm trying to work on the car a little bit I'm trying to do as much as i can i did the body work at some point i'm going to paint the front bumper and the quarter panels i done painted the back spoiler already so i'll show you a little bit i saw previews in the last video if you have peeped that so simple just a little rattle can job but just kind of tight this year i don't want the car to rust i don't want the car to look like mismatch 20 different colors so yeah we'll see the color and we'll pick up from there and see what we think say how yeah think how things is looking start doing this installation and uh get our day going so let's get it all right check it out soon i want to dress this i want to have this whole front bumper painted matching the car the way i did with the bumper quarter panels is ready body work is ready those that are new in my channel this is my 2004 Acura RSX I cut off the quarter panels at the young yard I cut and restore the quarter panels on my car this car is ready you just need a little wet sanding whenever I'm ready the rattle can at some point it will be quite pain just in rattle can which they are pretty expensive now like $37 a can I'm painting this whole area so it look color match. However, this is how the spoiler look. The same color of the car, so you see there's not much difference. These two need clear coating, but being this cold, I haven't clear coated. I could just clean it, watch it real good, clear coat at some point. To be honest, I'd rather clear coat everything together with the quarter panel. One day everything is done. But um yeah. I remember it was always great primer. Now the color matches from the bike. The back it looked just alike. With a little clear coating. It will look exactly the same. So that's my goal. That's what we aiming at. This side is good. Brand new. Rust free. This was the major area that had the most damage. Because so from over here to all the way over here. It was gone. So I'm trying to keep it OEM. I'm pumped boys. Be honest, I'm trying to get the car ready. Make sure it's simple. Since the boy just kind of messed up, your boy sells chicken for a little bit. We all know that. Ain't no chain with it. So my boy just tired. At the end of the day, I'm a parent. I'm a man on my house first. So my boy just kind of tight this year. I gotta work with what I have. So I would have loved to take out the EK truck. So I already know that's not gonna happen. I'm gonna work on her and finish the CRX. I don't want to get high expectations on finishing this build and taking it to anywhere because the car, I still got to do motor work, got to do inside detail. So it's not in my budget this year right now to take it to H day. So, so no, no, just to tow this car to H day because I wasn't going to drive at all with a high insurance I was driving. It'll be at least a thousand dollars extra that I do not have right now. So I'm going to use my money smart this year and what it counts with CRX coming up soon body work is looking dope she's looking fresh nice and protected compared to last year she was supposed in the snow but my brother uh, Danny from Brooklyn held it down and he held it for me so you know little details small changes make big difference in your life at some point we gotta start working on the inside do the floor pans I got a front bumper installed to match the body kit, do the side skirt repair, do the back bumper, put it back on, 
start giving some TLC, start prepping her some more, and start spraying her soon. Once they start hitting, you know, nice weather, summer type, I hope to have everything done and maybe something within the Indian Bay. But we cross that bridge when we get there. So yeah, this is the lip. Like I said, it's like $80 loss. I got the same one that I had last time. And I got the Monroe spoiler, which goes here. I had on my other blue Acura RSX, the blue one that I had on the channel years ago. Pretty dope. Because when you open the uh, the roof, you know, it protects it from the wind going in. So it's kind of like both ways that works. And I guess it's that low, dope look. We also gonna have the window louvers. That also help when the car gets foggy, whatever, you bring it down a little bit, the rain don't sink it in and stuff like that. So, you know, and that's all about the look. It's gonna look dope. And of course, the last one, which is the rear window spoiler. That one we have to clean up real good. It goes over here, it's probably about here. I had it in the car as well, look dope. So, like little things that I wanna do to the car, you know, to bring it up, self-motivate, keep motivated. So with stuff that you could do to your car that, you know, bring up the self-team and stuff like that. But um, the goal is to take this one to age day. The last time I went to age day was probably like two years ago and we took the white TL. So we'll see what we got this year. All right, check. I got the wing off the box of the plastic. Cause we did this 3M tape, of course. So it's gonna go right like that. Right about around here. Pretty dope in comparison to all the ones that had, they were the same straight design. They got like the earth dot design. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. They get it centered through the antenna. So that could put in the right spot. If you step back from here, you could tell if it goes more over this way. So I'm gonna put you in a little tap line and um, get it installed. But first, we're gonna use this heat gun. Being the cold, this is the first thing that you should do. I wanted to mention that. So I'm gonna put you in a little time lapse. Heat up the metal of the car. One that's pretty hot, so it loses the chill. We heat up the spoiler a little bit so the tape is sticky. And then we'll proceed on to gluing it on into the actual roof. So it should be simple, just heating it up because it's cold. So you get better at easy fun. So let's get it. All right, check. I got the wing off the box of the plastic. I caught with this 3M tape, of course. So we're gonna go right like that. Right about around here. Pretty dope in comparison to all the ones that had they were the same straight design. They got like the earth duck design. So we're gonna use that to our advantage. They get it sanded through the antenna. So that could put in the right spot. See if you step back from here, you could tell if it goes more over this way. So I'm gonna put you in a little tap line and um, get it installed. But first, we're gonna use this heat gun. Being this cold, this is the first thing that you should do. I wanted to mention that. So I'm gonna put you in a little time lapse. Heat up the metal of the car. One that's pretty hot, so it loses the chill. We heat up the spoiler a little bit, so the tape is sticky. And then we'll proceed on to gluing it on into the actual roof. So it should be simple, just heating it up, because it's cold. So you get better at easy fun. So let's get it. All right, check. I put this tape marks. I sort of eyeballed it, so it's not all crooked. I reference mark. Got both sides mark in the center. So again, I'm gonna put you in a time lapse, put in all the tape, and proceed to you start applying it to the roof. Let's get it.
All right, boys. This one is on, as y'all see. I had to go back and forth until I got it on. I heat it up with the blow gun at the end. So the glue will melt with the metal. The metal makes it hot. I apply pressure, cleaned it off. Well, look the good. Looks so good. In reference to the other one, this material is kind of like a little flimsier. Only where it will like snow. It's gonna like squash it. If anything, I might have to put like some pieces of foam on the days of snow so it gets the support and it doesn't just like fly net on me. But overall, I like the design, I like the look. Especially when I open the sunroof, shit's gonna look sick. So one down, one more to go. Let's get with the lip. All right, this is the lip open. Camera's dying in case I don't get to record installing it. Guys, ready on the jack. Got my drill. So I'm gonna try to install it real quick. Let's get it. All right, that's already done. I gotta do my two corner security bolts, and this is done. Overall, you guys see it. We got the look back. Like I said, I gotta put the two security bolts in the back, drop it, that's done. So I'm gonna put it in the charge while I do that. All right, check. Car is lower off the jack. We got the front type part look, front lip back. Check out the scoop on the uh, sunroof open with the sunroof spoiler how it looks. Shit pretty dope. I dig it. Like I said one did paint it, car is gonna look fucking sick. Now we gotta proceed to uh, put the bench shades in the rear sunroof moon roof. Or spoiler if you must call it. But or uh, Car's looking dope, boy. Let's get it. All right, boys, check. Been a little busy off camera. I did something behind the scenes to change the look on the car as well. It's all done. I just gotta put it in. Check me out. Painted the wheels. I wanted to change the contrast from black to white to make the car stand out figure it makes the car look cleaner and if you see it gives it a different look like i said that one is done you already know my car method how i just put it around i've done it many times in the channel so i went to the hardware store real quick picked me up a few front flat back flat white and um here we are when i changed the look on the car car looked dope I guess it's a JDM-ish look if you want to say it. Kind of like a type part type thing. Sort of Mac in the blue one when we had the type part wheels on it. I wish I had the type part wheels on it. Want to then re rock the stocks. You know, it kind of looked like if they were slip stream, so that's why I forget painting them. It's just crazy how something as crazy as a spray can it could change the whole look on your car. Soon we'll get some tints on it with the black and the white. It's gonna look good. Check it out. I got one more tire to put it on So I'm letting it dry We got the new lip install We got the moon roof Spoiler on It's a fact of putting the side bands And the uh, rear Spoiler To finalize today's video But overall looking good Alright the Acura is done as far as with the wheels I still got the bend chase to install And the rear spoiler For the window Gonna do it tomorrow, it's getting a little chitty and I wanna take my time so it comes out right. Bro, check out the car.
crazy how it transformed we just slip that top sunroof spoiler and the wheels painted but check it out she look fucking insane doesn't even look like the same car no more at least from when I first got in the channel so if you gotta wanna check out when I first brought it put a, a little bit of work on the car so far still got a little bit more in the future would like to like fully paint the car for real for real for right now we're gonna color match it with color paint match spray cans they're pretty pricey about 37 a piece but you guys see the color perfect match like I said once it's done I'll watch it, I'll clean it, dry it, clear coat it in the future, and the car should be as shiny as the OEM uh, color. I figure it's my easiest way right now, and the best bet of doing the full restoration rather than having it in primer, getting rusty, and mismatch color. You know, we have a one foot color. But check it out. Check it out, good, boys. I said, pretty much ready for the day. Pick this up tomorrow and we see where we are. Let's get it. Alright, check boy. It's the next day. I've been up since early. Check out the current condition. It wasn't like this. You just changed probably an hour and a half. But before that hour and a half, did something to kind of surprise you. Yeah? To the point that it was fully finished. I was able to do half. So I'll show you what I mean. And um we'll see what I'm talking about the way I'm in my chunk class and in my rope All right so got the RSX right here this is what we're looking like in this side wheels is nice and painted everything looking good right now check it out look what I did Ooh. That's the type of beast that I am, boys. Got up earlier, prepped the car, wet sanded it, taped the car, went to the store. I got me about six, five cans. Color match the car. Luckily, before it started raining, I had like a 10 minute window. And before anybody says it, it's not perfect. Like, I had a ding there that should have do the body work. I was lazy, I did it. This car in the future is gonna get repainted full. The only reason I painted it now, because anytime you leave a car with primer every day, the rust and everything used in the daily use will re-rust. At least with the paint on it, it's gonna take longer for any rust to come back. And the car looked dope. But I did I tape everything, end up painting this whole entire piece all the way to over here and if you see you can't even tell the the colors difference this is the new color this is the old color I end up taping the the doors everything and I painted this whole entire strip so that way I wouldn't have like blotches here and there like I said I got minor imperfections like over here I could ice it up a little bit more so you wouldn't see that little indentation kind of like a lot of spot low spot apologies but i'm happy overall car fix paint it to the point the man motivation for me you know i could take it places it look decent not a rough bucket kind of break necks a little bit you know so yeah but check out the different boys definitely something we could do at home I pay about $29 a can. Again, color match. This is paint that is made for your car. The only difference that you don't have a compressor, they will put it in an aerosol can. If you're good and you're handy with painting, you could do it. It's just like painting a bicycle. But this is the result. It's looking like this now. This is what was looking before. Again, I was trying to do both sides. Mother Nature decided it rained on me as I was finishing that one side. 
which I still had to prep this side, you know, taped it and all that. I'm glad I didn't, because once the tape gets wet and the tape and the paper and all that, it's the side of my gun because it sticks to the car. It's crazy. But I could do this another day. It's just to get y'all motivated. This is brownie points that I didn't tell you I was doing, and you guys didn't know. But here we are today. So big improvement. We have the whole, the whole car, this side, color match, the wing, the car. We got the moon spoiler already on. We got the new lip. And I'll show you guys the bench chase that I, was, I meant to put in this video, but I didn't have no time because I was waiting on the uh, delivery to come and I kind of came late, which is the bench chase from here and the rear spoiler visor, if you call it. So I'll show you that, and uh, we'll wrap it up with this video. But pretty dope view to see, boys. This car was mad rusted just a couple weeks ago in primer. Every time I took it to the car wash, that rust spot, it kept growing on me. Like, I feel like people was looking at me and judging me just because they know I do body work. Like, man, if I had that car, I would've done that. They don't know that on half the time. They don't know the situation. So I made the time, being that my work gave me a couple of days off this week. And I put in the work and that's how we're looking today. Pretty stoked. Cause I didn't plan on painting the rims. That was extra. I didn't plan on painting the car today. That was super extra. So we got one color match, one whole sort color, entire side color match with the wing color match. The rims, freshly painted, few parts the wind store looking good. So I'll show you the next part that we were supposed to throw in this and wrap it up. Next time that y'all see it, will be painted and with the rest of the parts. Let's get it. All right, check. This is the one that goes on the back, on the rear window glass, on the very top. Kind of like, I guess, a dog built look. Had it on my blue DC5 several years ago. I want to recreate that look again with everything that I have put on, exactly I had. And this is the window bent shades. Again, I thought they were going to be in yesterday as I was working on it. That's why I kept working on the car, improvising, doing different things, waiting for them to get delivered, which they're already here. Functionally raining, so I'm going to wrap it up here. Next time they just see it, everything being stored, we go over the car, what it look like, and um, what we're doing next. But um, other than that, pretty stoked, pretty pumped. Hope this video got you a little motivated to not stop, keep going. Just seen the transformation, if you want to say, on the car. The car is not 100% what it should look like. It's not car show material, but at least it's 89%. Look decent. I could take it places now, have a conversation, go to a car and meet, take it out. And I'm happy with that until the future that we could put a little more work, do better work, prove things, you know, things take time. The thing is to self-motivate, keep motivated. All right, check boys. Car is finally done. We got both sides done. Color match all around. The only thing left we have to do is the front bumper. The mission today, at least for me, was to match both quarter panels. Well, they're not looking in primer no more. But, big change. If you remember, the quarter panel was really gone, almost half. Now we got shapes, and it's matching. So the other one. Big transformation, boys. Big transformation. All right, check with the rear spoiler on, boys. This is the last thing that I'm putting on. 
everything worked out except the side bends i checked them they do not match the shape of the car at all most to be for uh, newer rsx this is o2 the o4 so maybe the ones that fit is probably o5 the o6 but not bummed out because we got this brand new we got this one it gives the car character so i just glue that one on in place Got a view like that. Should look dope. Now you yeah, see what I mean? Now yeah, see the vision. Pretty dope. Stoke. Of course, fully painted. We got both of the spoilers on. They looking good. I like it. Should look different. Check out that view, boys. Shit is dope. All right, boys. Now we're really gonna wrap it up. Wrap it up for this time. Shit looking all right. So, yeah. Thank you for subscribing, liking, and coming. Till the next time. Peace.